Hello everyone. In this class, I'm going to create a sleeve pattern. I'll start with a rectangle. This rectangle will be a little wider than the total measurement of the front and back armhole for the width. I'll type it in at 20, comma, and then the height will be the full length of the sleeve, which is 24 inches. And then using the end key on my keyboard, I'll center the rectangle on the screen. Now in the point menu, I'll add a midpoint. I'll click, right click, and then click again and the point will be added right at the midpoint. I'll change back to snap off and click on this line and right click to add the front armhole measurement which is 9 inches. And on this side, I'll click and right click to add the back armhole measurement which is 8.5 inches and then I'll choose delete vectors in the points menu and delete these two points then I'm going to rotate these points downwards using the cap height amount I'll select endpoints for precision and I'll click and rotate this down five inches and this point I'll also rotate it down five inches but now I'll uh, use minus five because it's a negative measurement now in the point menu I'll select align X to align the bottom of the sleeve I'll select this point and right click and select the point I want to align and then right click. This point is now the underarm point. I'll select it and right click and then click the point I want to align. In the point menu again, I'll select add vertex and add midpoints to the front armhole and the back armhole lines. Now I will move those points I'll change my snap I'll move the front armhole shape it inwards half an inch I'll type at minus 0 0.5 comma 0 and here I'll do the same thing I'll type at minus 0 0.5 comma 0 okay then again I'm going to add new midpoints and turn those points into curves and then I will shape my armhole on the back arm will turn into curves which I, and then begin to shape using the move vertex click right click and then move your vertex and then hovering slightly here in the front I will also hold the sleeve head up and out and the on the arm in so the front armhole is a deep curve 
and the back arm hole the back arm hole is a shallow curve Now I will add notches. This is now the shoulder point. I will add a single notch. Front armhole line. Single notch. And then back armhole line. Double notch. At the hem here, the sleeve is straight. I will shape it in. But first, I will start by adding a midpoint. And then I'll use Align X to um, align the point with the shoulder point here. I'll click on this point and right click and left click on this point and then right click to set it in perfect alignment. So let me show you what I mean. So this line is now um, See the perfectly straight line now. Now, I will divide the hem segments I'll divide this into four segments, and I'll divide this into four segments, and then I will delete the outer segments. I will now divide the sleeve into its various lengths. To start, I will get the elbow line. I'm going to get a midpoint here and here. The elbow is two inches above the midpoint of the line. If you have an elbow measurement for an individual, you can use that instead of the standard uh, measurements. Now I'm going to take a straight line here for the elbow. So this is the elbow length. You can cut the sleeve at this level for the elbow length. Now anywhere in, in here is the short sleeve. So I can take a mid line here for short sleeve. Or even higher. I'll uh, take a midpoint. Uh, I can draw a line at the midpoint here. Now the three-quarter length is also midpoint between the elbow and the hem. So I'm going to take a midpoint here also to get three-quarter length. So I will now label I'll label this line elbow length and this is a short sleeve. Like I said, if short sleeve can be a little shorter or longer. And this is the three quarter length. And this is the full length sleeve, long sleeve. So we can cut the sleeve 
at three quarter length, elbow length, or short sleeve. Thanks for watching.